Welcome to the Drishti IAS to the Point program. Our today's topic is Man Portable Air Defense Systems or Man Pads. First of all, we'll see why this is in news. The US and the NATO allies approved a 200 million dollar arms package for Ukraine. It would include US-made Stinger missiles, which are a type of shoulder-fired manned portable air defense systems or man pads. Now let's know that what are man pads. Man portable air defense systems, that is man pads or M pads, are surface-to-air missiles, lightweight enough to lift by a single person. The system consists of a missile in a disposable tube, a grip stock, and a battery to charge the missile. They help shield troops from aerial attacks and are most effective in targeting low-flying aircraft. Operating man pads require substantially less training. Man pads have a maximum range of 8 km and can engage targets at altitudes of 4.5 km. Let's have a look on stealth features. Most man pads have passive or fire and forget guidance systems. This means the operator is not required to guide the missile to its target, enabling them to run and relocate immediately after firing. The missile stays locked on to the targeted object, not requiring active guidance from the soldier. The missiles are fitted with infrared seekers that identify and target the airborne vehicle through heat radiation being emitted by the latter. Now let's know the use of man pads in the past. The first man pads were introduced by the United States and Soviet Union in the 1960s. Russian and US man pads were also used during the Vietnam War. The US supplied man pads to the Mujahideen in Afghanistan in the 1980s, which the latter used against the Soviet forces. Countries such as India, Pakistan, Germany, UK, Turkey and Israel have also used man pads in their defense efforts. Russia is by far the biggest exporter of man pads. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements. Statement 1: The USA is by far the biggest exporters of man pads. Statement 2: India has never used man pads in their defense efforts. Statement 3: Operating man pads requires substantially high training. Which of the above statement or statements is are not correct? Options are A 1 and 2 only, B 2 and 3 only, C 3 only or D 1 2 and 3. Don't forget to answer in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind. Dear viewers, to watch this topic in Hindi, please visit our Hindi YouTube channel.